welcome back to Nico's area, where today I'll be showing you Roblox fans how to access the new material called glass in Roblox. So before I get started, I wanted to show you guys this new thread that was made on the Roblox's dev forum website, which basically explains exactly what the new glass material is capable of doing, as you can see from the screenshot there. Um, if you click on the little tabs there, it will show you the screenshots of what each of the uh, properties do, such as tint and refractions. But what I'll be showing you guys in this tutorial video is the steps that you need to take in order to access this new material. And it's quite simple actually, so let's dig right into it. But before that, I just wanted to say to everybody, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas break and I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. So um, yeah, let's get started. And please excuse my voice, I am feeling a little bit sick right now, but um, hopefully you guys will still understand me. Run up Roblox Studio. And if you don't already have this, I'll leave a link down in the description for you below to download it. And of course you would have to put in your username and password. And this is a fresh new look of Roblox Studio. It didn't look like this before. Um, it's quite refreshing to see a new look to this. Um, to the software so uh, we can go ahead and start on the base plate actually so before we get started there's this one crucial step you guys need to take before you do anything else so first of all you have to go under file and you have to go under settings please excuse the laughing in the background that's just my family watching a very funny show <laughs> so under the settings you have to go to rendering and under performance, you'll see this thing called edit quality level and quality level. So I, I, I've already discussed this before in the past, but to give you guys a quick reminder, usually this would be under automatic, but for our case, for the new material to work properly, you'd have to put this under level 21. Now, I'm not sure exactly um, what the system requirements are for this new material, but level 21 is your best shot at making this work. So. And the second step that you guys need to be aware of, usually you'll only have this kind of like a black or a blank slate to work with. So what you need to do is go to view and you have to select explorer and properties in order to, you know, to basically access this new material. So without further ado, let's go ahead and summon a part to the workspace and let's change the size using the scale tool make it taller, make it wider. And now that you have your new scaled up material here, you can go under properties and under material, you can click on the drop down menu and change it into glass. The list, the list here is organized in alphabetical order, so it's easy to change. And at first glance, it doesn't really do much. It's just a little bit more ref reflecty or whatever. Um, so what you need to do actually it to change the transparency up to at least 0 0.5 or something like that and as you can see it's kind of you can kind of see the difference here but you can really see it once you have something right behind it to reflect it on so what i have here is another part behind it and if i move in front of this glass material here you can already see the refraction happening here which is pretty cool it's a really cool effect so uh, props to Roblox for making this new material. A lot of game developers out there will probably use this to their advantage and make really nice looking games. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to open a project that I've actually started experimenting on with this new material. And as you can already tell through this wonderful view here, all the pine, tree here, pine trees here and the deer here are all made of glass. And what I did was make these two darker than the rest of them so you can actually see the effect of glass against the material behind them, which is very, very cool. You can see through the deer that's actually doing this nice ripple effect through the trees behind it. And if I move even further, it actually like moves it from here and there. It's very cool. I can, I can show you guys what they used to look like without the transparency on them and I'll actually make them white so you guys can kind of tell or maybe red yeah so you can you guys can tell the amount of um, voxels there are in this mesh here so basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you can actually put this type of material on a mesh as well which is very very cool <laughs> it's, it's ve this is very cool 
and it's a step forward for Roblox for sure. Another cool thing I wanted to show you guys, um, as you can see all of these are made of glass. So what I can do, which is a very cool effect, I will change these two to have a transparency of 0 0.5. So they're, they're, they'll have the same effect of transparency as the glass. But as you can see here through the red pine tree, you can actually you can't actually see the trees behind it with the same properties, which is very interesting. I think it, this might be some sort of a rendering issue with the game engine. Uh, I'm not quite sure of it yet, but um, game developers out there can take this adv as an advantage and make some pretty unique games with this. So, um, as you can see though, you can still see the tree behind this one here. And if I change the property of the tree in the middle or in between, and change it to zero, it comes back. But if I change it to 0 0.5, it completely completely disappears out of your line of sight. And the color doesn't matter, I think. If you change it to like green or you change it to like blue, the effect is still there, which is very, very cool. So you can make some pretty fun stuff with this new material. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this really quick tutorial. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer all of your questions as best as I can. And that's it for me today. Expect another tutorial video coming in the next few weeks. I'll be talking about how to make uh, games more efficiently and effectively using your workspace explorer here and using naming conventions. You'll be surprised at how quickly you can make buildings out of this uh, method. So I'm very excited to share that method with you guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful new year again. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.